Good morning. I'm glad that you've joined us for the overview of the accounts payable functionality in Sun Systems. For the Sun Plus world, one of the least understood, definitely one of the least used functionalities of Sun Systems is accounts payable. As a well-established, reputable commercial financial management system, Sun Systems has all of the necessary features and functionality to provide complete accounts payable processing. This has always been the case for Sun Systems. Advent of Sun Systems sites, however, known as Sun Plus sites, have typically not taken advantage of the accounts payable functionality built into the system. There are a number of reasons driving the decision to sideline accounts payable. It is not, however, the purpose of our video blog to go into those reasons. Some Adventist sites do use Accounts Payable, but most don't. In the Accounts Payable series of video blogs, we will demonstrate each of the various settings, functionalities, and processes involved in using SunPlus for Accounts Payable. Let's start with a quick list of Sun Systems Accounts Payable related functions that are available. Static data can be maintained on creditors in the system, including their addresses, contact details, bank details, and payment methodology. Chart of accounts is another obvious accounts payable related functionality. Analysis is also very important for accounts payable and Sun Systems enables analysis on an account as well as a transaction level. Managing disputes is easy using Sun Systems as accounts can be closed or suspended as various disputes are hammered out. Of course, there is the ability to record transactions, including accounts payable transactions in ledger entry. In addition to ledger entry or ledger import, Sun Systems has an automatic payment functionality entitled Payment Run that we will take a close look at. Transactions involved in accounts payable processes can be matched. Open items on suppliers' accounts are held until they are cleared by a payment or a credit note, for instance. Then there is the payment run automatic functionality that we just referred to, as well as online allocation during which a payment transaction can be immediately matched with the invoice. And then following the journal entry, payment transactions can be matched to invoice transactions using the account allocation function. And there is a transaction matching function Sun Systems that SunPlus sites have not used. However, it is there. And if someone is interested in researching how that works, we can definitely check it out and see if it can be useful in our sites. Of course, inquiries can be made into existing transactions on the account level, on the ledger level, and on the journal transaction level. Accounts payable reports already exist in the system, including accounts listing, remittances, and payment listings. We have referred to payment runs, which automatically pay the transactions that are flagged for payment. They create necessary transactions, produce payment detail file, check the bank balance on the relevant accounts, enforce settlement terms, and then create the necessary documentation. So the payment run is a powerful functionality. You can force or withhold payments in Sun Systems. In addition, there is an automated bank clearing function in which payments can be transferred into a central payment clearing system, or you can use the system to create an electronic bank transfer file. And of course, Sun Systems also includes payment voiding, where you can cancel out incorrect payments. If you are thinking of taking advantage of the accounts payable functionality that is already lurking in the system you are using, I hope that you will join us for the next few videos, which will demonstrate the system settings that are mandatory before you can fully use accounts payable. Also, it will talk about the processes involved and the various functionality that is available for you. In this series, we will focus on accounts payable in Sun Systems version 6 and above. If your organization is using Sun Systems 5.4 or any other version prior to version 6, the settings are going to be different, but most of the functionality will be similar or the same. So there is benefit in going ahead and checking out these videos, even if you are not yet using Sun Systems version 6 or above. So that wraps up the overview video. I hope that you'll join us for the next videos as well.